So the items that you will need for the basic wreath that we're going to make today are the wreath form from Dollar Tree. It's the 16 inch. I don't have a very large door on my condo, so I don't want to have a really overwhelming wreath for the size that I have to display. So we've chosen this wreath. Then most of the wreath will be the mesh ribbon in this tan color. And then I will be embellishing with these two types of ribbon. I think they work very well in the nautical theme with an occasional white ribbon woven in as well. So I think all of these colors combined together will make a wonderful lake house wreath. And we'll just get started now. The items to assemble the wreath will be just a pair of scissors and whether you choose to attach your ribbon pieces with the zip ties or the Chanel stems, it's up to you. I use either one interchangeably depending on what type of ribbon I'm attaching to the wreath. So these are our items that we will need and let's get started. So since I have a small area to display my wreath, as well as a small wreath that I'm making, I don't like to have overwhelming pieces of mesh ribbon. So the size that I have chosen to cut today, I'm taking the five inch ribbon and I'm cutting them in six inch strips. So that would be five by six to make our ribbon embellishments to go on the outer and inner edges of our wreath. Now I'm going to show you how to take the ribbon rolls, they basically roll up as you cut them, and attach them to your wreath. I have cut the pipe cleaners in half, that will save you some money, and it will still allow enough room to wrap around the ribbon pieces, attach it to your wreath, and then later, if you need to add your embellishments, there's still room to open that back up and add maybe a piece of ribbon where you feel like your wreath is looking a little sparse. So I just take each roll, make an X out of it, then I just wrap my chenille stem right around the center and twist. And as you can see, when we do attempt to attach it to the wreath, it's not going to be really overwhelming in size because like I said, I have a small place to display this wreath and I don't want huge pieces of mesh sticking out. And I do want to be able to show off the embellishments later because the embellishments that I choose for this lake theme wreath are going to be the star of the show. So let's finish making up several of these, then I'll show you how to attach them to the wreath form. Okay. Now that I have several of these little mesh X's, I'm going to show you how I like to apply them to the wreath. I like to go and start on the third rung from the center, and I like to put the first one. Then the second one I will alternate and do it from the second rung from the center. Same thing all over the entire wreath one on the third rung, down to the second rung, back to the third rung, down to the second rung. I'll put those on. It's very really simple. You just feed your, feed it through, twist it on the back. That's the first one on the third rung, which means the next one will come down and be on the second rung. I think this gives a little more fuller look to your wreath, but like I said, I like to use the small loop mesh because I feel like the star of my show is going to be the embellishments. So once we get this all filled in, you will be able to see the pipe cleaners and you'll be able to see what it looks like. So I'll show you once I get this all filled in with the mesh X ribbons that we've created. Okay, here's a little progress check. We've made it halfway around. And as you can see, it's filling in pretty nicely. So we're going to go ahead and complete the rest of the way. Like I said, alternating between the third rung and the second rung. 
Okay, so now as you can see, we have the basic ribbon done. Now this ribbon at this stage could have any embellishments that you choose. I think that this brown twine would be beautiful with a sunflower theme in the fall. It could be, it would go with ladybugs. It could go as a Christmas theme. I've seen nativity done in half the tan, half the blue. Um, so this is basically how you make the simple wreath and where you go from here depends on what your own style is. Today, like I said, I'm going to be using some of these nautical ribbons to add into this wreath to make this a nautical theme wreath. So I'm gonna show you how we're going to add the ribbon. Now the first thing I like to do when I'm making a themed ribbon is I like to put my large bow that's gonna be the showpiece kind of bow of the wreath I like to put that on first. Then as I'm filling in the small pieces of ribbon, I will have the big bow over here as a guide to determine where I should place the other embellishment ribbons. So I'm going to go ahead and just tie a bow up and place it on here so then I can determine where I want the rest of the ribbon embellishments to be. I think it's easier if you start with your big bow. So let's get this big bow tied and we will attach it to the wreath. Okay, so now I have created a three ribbon bow that's gonna match the theme of a lake wreath. I have chosen just a plain white, the blue and white striped ribbon, as well as this kind of little nautical string ribbon. So I've created a three ribbon bow and I do have a tutorial on how to create these bows on another link, but I'm gonna show you how I'm going to place it on the wreath. Now what I like to do on my wreaths is when I do place something, I pretty much just stick it down in there and instill, excuse me, instead of attaching it to the back, I'm just going to place it where I think I might like it. And then later, once I've decided that I like all the placements, then I will go in, turn the wreath over and make the attachments permanent. So there we have it. Now I'm going to embellish with some items that I have here that I have picked to marry up the colors in this ribbon. So let me show you how that is going to work. This is gonna be the finished look. Those are the same three colors that are in my ribbon. That'll be the embellishments that go around on the wreath. Now, to put this together, I just take the pieces of ribbon. This is about five inches before I do my dovetail ends. And I put those together, just like that. Pinch the center in. Take the pipe cleaner. And just wrap that around. Then I sort of just separate the ribbon out. There you go. And then you can see how that's going to look when I do apply it to the wreath. Now what I like to do is on the front of the wreath, I'll place like one, two, and three. Then I'll offset here on the back a little bit off, would be going in the centers, one, two, and three. And then I might place a couple in the middle. Like I said, I do not permanently attach anything until I lay it out the way I like it. Make sure it's going to work for me and what my style is, and then I will flip it over and attach those permanently. So I'm going to get some of these made up and then we will attach them to the wreath. This is Mason Jar reporting. Hot off the press of the Southern Sisters Craft Barn. It has been determined you'll be madder than a wet hen 
if I don't share this news flash. Six inch ribbon strips are too short. Please cut your pieces at nine inches and carry on with the crafting tutorial. The final reveal will show longer ribbon embellishments. This is Mason Jar signing off. Okay, so here's the finished wreath that has the ribbon embellishments that I have attached. And I think it's looking pretty cute. I wanted to show you when you're attaching your ribbon crosses, kind of, I guess you would say that's what they're called. I like to separate, if I take blue one way, then it goes the opposite way. Then the whites, so you'll have striped white, striped white, as opposed to having two blue on one side, two white on one side. So when you separate those that way, I think that looks pretty good. Uh, what do you think? I'm feeling like our bow might need some streamers. So I decided to take one of each color ribbon, the white, the stripe, and this mesh ribbon. And I'm going to gather it in the center. Attach it with the pipe cleaner. Pull those streamers down. Then go up under and attach it under the bow. So what do you think? How's that looking? Okay. Okay, friends. Here's my completed wreath. I absolutely love it. And it's just right up my alley as far as the decor that I choose to have at my home in the summertime. And I want to show you a couple of different embellishment ideas that Dollar Tree has that you can place on this. And it would just be a stunning addition to your decor at home. First of all, they have this wonderful little wood, well-made anchor. And I feel like if this was hanging, it would be a nice pop of red if you attach that to your wreath and it would be beautiful maybe with two red planters on each side of your door. I just think that's that would be stunning. I love that pop of red in with the blue and white. I just put a simple little blue and white bow there. Something else Dollar Tree has are these cute little embellishments that are on these clothespins. You could um, place those around your wreath. They're just so cute. There's another little pop of red on there. They're adorable. I think they would be cute on the wreath. It's just so cute. I love it. This is my style. <laughs> Dollar Tree has these. I bet you've seen them. They look so great. They're well made. And wouldn't they be cute as an embellishment on a wreath? Just anything that you think would be great is more than likely going to be great because we've got a good base wreath and it's just ready for some embellishments. So that would be also pretty. Okay, Dollar Tree also has these sailboats that are wooden, they're wood blanks. You can paint those as I did. I do have a video posted that shows eight different mediums that you can use to decorate these sailboats with, but I thought this would be cute. Hanging from your bow, just hanging down. Some people put embellishments like this on the bottoms of their wreath hanging down. You could just do several different sailboats and place them around your ribbon. Like I said, you can check out that video that I have that shows eight different ways to decorate these wood sailboats. Now last year, I picked up this sign. <laughs> Dollar Tree has some great little signs. I picked this up last year. They're probably, they might not have this specific one, but they're probably carrying some summer signs much like this this year. You could place a cute sign on your wreath. Don't have to do anything to it. It already has a summer theme. There's that pop of red that I'm loving. <laughs> or if you don't like this, you can just flip it over, fill in those little holes, or use that as your hanger and decorate for it to say anything you want to go on your nautical themed wreath. I think that would be real cute. So finally, 
the one item that I have chosen to place on my wreath as my embellishment is going to be this blue and white sailboat. It's probably gonna go something right around there, opposite my bow that'll be on the side. Uh, this is just a simple flower pick is what it was. Uh, it's on the big long metal stand. I just cut the stand off, bent it up so I'll be able to fit it to my wreath, painted it, and of course I chose the blue and white again, <laughs> but I painted it and that's what I'm going to be attaching to my wreath that will be hanging at my door. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach that. I'll show you the finished product and then I'll take some photos of everything that I've made so far out at my front door at our lake condo so you can see what it looks like and that might inspire you to make your own. 